Welcome back. In this part of a tutorial, we are going to study the architecture of SAP HANA. HANA database runs on multiple servers to perform its task. Index server is the main component of a SAP HANA architecture. So, likewise, we have multiple servers like index server, persistence layer, repository, preprocessor server, statistics server, name server, and access engine. These servers run in tandem and fulfills all the requirements by the UI and the user. So now I am going to go over each and every one part of this architecture and explain you everything related to those servers. One of the main component of SAP HANA database architecture is index server. Index server is a place where the actual data will be stored and it will be used to serve the needs of the user. There are multiple divisions in the index server like session and transaction manager, SQL or MDX processor, data engines, persistence layer and repository. Transaction manager will control the transaction of a SAP HANA database. When there is a need, then it can roll back the operations performed previously before the commit is performed. The next part in index server is a SQL or MDX processor. It segments the SQL or MDX statements into the correct bins and sends the query to the respective query processor so that the performance is optimized. The next part of a index server is a persistence layer. Persistence layer is where data will be stored permanently in the hard disk and it serves as a disaster recovery system where when there is unexpected disaster and all the data is lost from the primary memory. The copy of data will be stored in the persistence layer and that can be used to recover the database and use it in HANA database system. The next part in index server is a preprocessor server. When there is a text search capability invoked, then the preprocessor server processes the text information and retrieves the information from the database table. Preprocessor server is used for text data analysis. 